Aluminium lithium alloy in aerospace. History of aluminium lithium alloys. In 1920, the US and Germany began researching the aluminium lithium alloys. And several patents were produced but they cannot be commercialized due to the poor performance. In 1950, major improvements on the aluminium lithium alloy have been made by Alcoa Corporation, which patented the 2020 alloy. The 2020 alloy is among the first generation aluminum lithium alloys and contained 4.5% copper, 1.2% lithium, 0.5% manganese, 0.2% cadmium, and aluminum as the rest. This alloy is used to make aircraft wings and stabilizers of RA-5C Vigilante Mach 2 by the Navy. In 1973, the oil crisis leads to the further research on the aluminium-lithium alloys for fuel-efficient aircraft. This is where the second generation of alloys are introduced including 2090, 2091, and 8090, etc. The most successful of the second generation, 8090 is used in EH-101 helicopters in Europe. Figure 1 shows RA-5C Vigilante Mach 2 recognition airplane. Figure 2 shows EH-101 helicopter. In 1990, the third generation of aluminium lithium alloys have been developed. Among the third generation alloys, Weldalite 2195 has been utilized to build the US Space Shuttle external fuel tank. Table 1 lists all of the three generations of the aluminium lithium alloys and the composition. Aluminium lithium alloys properties. 7% to 10% lower density, 10% to 15% higher modulus of elasticity, excellent fatigue and cryogenic toughness properties, higher stiffness, superior fatigue crack growth resistance, reduced ductility, low fracture toughness. Table 2 shows the physical properties of aluminium lithium alloys. Fracture toughness and fracture modes of aerospace aluminium lithium alloys. Aluminium lithium alloys have been of interest since the 1950 when they were first used on a military aircraft. Lithium can reduce the density by 3% and increases modulus by 5%. High strength can be achieved by precipitation hardening. In 1980, extensive research and development was carried out on alloys with high lithium contents less than two weight percentages or equal to eight percent of atomic percentages such as a8090 second generation aluminium lithium alloys however did not match with those of conventional aluminium zinc magnesium copper alloys and the lower fracture toughness of these alloys for equivalent strengths was a particular problem the experiences with second-generation aluminium-lithium alloys led to the development of third-generation alloys. With lower lithium contents 0.75 to 1.7 weight percentages. And some of these alloys have a better overall balance of properties, including fracture toughness. Than the best available conventional AL alloys. These third-generation aluminium-lithium alloys should therefore see extensive use in future civil and military aircraft. Third generation aluminium lithium alloys have outstanding combinations of toughness and strength. Combined with reduced densities. The superior toughness of third generation aluminium lithium alloys compared with second generation alloys. Are reflected with the differences in fracture surface topography and fracture path. Aerospace applications of aluminium lithium alloys. Aluminium lithium alloys must compete with conventional aluminium alloys. Carbon fiber reinforced plastics and glass reinforced particularly for transport aircraft structures. Actual and potential applications of third generation aluminium lithium alloys are presented. For aircraft it is concluded that the competition between different material classes aluminium alloys Carbon fiber reinforced plastics and glass reinforced has reached a development stage where hybrid structures, using different types of materials, may become the rule rather than the exception. 
However, aluminium alloys are still the main contenders for spacecraft liquid propellant launches. Thank you for watching.